Alright, so today we're going to go over how to properly scale your cosplay based off of pictures of a particular character. Um, we'll do it two different ways. Uh, it's the same method either way, um, but I'll just show you how to do it from just a random picture and how to do it from within the game. So, the program that we're going to need to be able to do this is ImageJ. So, I'll, down, I'll link the page to you below, uh, but if you just type ImageJ into Google, you'll see this NIH.gov link, uh, because it is used for research, it is supported by the NIH, you'll come up to this ImageJ screen, and then you can click the download button, and then I would suggest downloading the bundled with Java version for 64 or 32-bit, uh, depending on what your operating system is, uh, but feel free to download it without Java if you know what you're doing. Alright, so after you have image J, next thing you're going to need to do is find your picture. So let's say that we want to figure out how to make Luffy's hat proportional to him. So if I was going to be Luffy, you know, I have no idea how tall Luffy is, and he could be any amount of or any height, but what I want to do is figure out how big I should make the brim of his hat so that it's proportional. So even if I'm way bigger or way smaller than Luffy, at least the brim of my hat will look proportionally correct. So what you need to do is find yourself a picture of him where he's standing straight up um, so you can get his full height. Uh, you know, this one will actually probably work fine. So we'll grab this picture and we're going to save the image as. So we'll uh, save this as Luffy front. Okay. So that's one. What we'll do then is we'll open up image J wherever we have it saved at. Right here. You'll see the screen like this. Uh, you go to the file button, press open, and go to where we saved the Luffy photo. And boom, should be open now. The first thing we want to do is select the line tool right here and measure Luffy from head to toe. And then we're going to press either Control M or just click the Analyze and Measure button. We'll get this little box that pops up that basically tells you the length and a bunch of other factors in there, as well. Uh, uh, and the length is in pixels. Now what we want to do is set it to scale. So I'm about six foot tall, so we're going to need to put that into inches if we want to know exactly how wide the brim of the hat should be. So. If you want to do this, you can either you know just do it in your head, but if you can't do it that way, you can pull up your calculator, which just ran away from me. Calculator, do your 6 times 12, 72 inches. We put our 72 inches in there. Uh, into known distance, obviously distance in pixels is going to be that line that we just drew and then just don't touch pixel aspect ratio and then your units of length change that to inch and don't click global that's if you have multiple pictures that you know that the subject is the same distance and proportion away from the screen so this just tells us down at the bottom that 12.834 pixels per inch so we press OK now if we measure Luffy again we press measure we should get around our height, 72 inches, so about 6 foot. Alright, now Luffy's the same height as me. Now if I want to get the brim of his hat, I'll just pull this line across, press measure, and it looks like it's about 16 inches across. So now we know how big the brim of Luffy's hat is if I want it to be proportional to me. Okay, now another way of doing this is we can actually load up a game. So, let me load up this game really quick, and we'll go in there, and we'll figure out how tall something is, or 
the proportions of something. Okay, so we're logged into the game. Collect my favorite for the day, whatever. All right, and then we're gonna find ourselves a model. Okay, so let's say that we want to know uh, how long on her spear is here, okay? So what we're gonna do is press print screen while he's uh, in a good pose for us. So this is actually a pretty good one. Press print screen. We'll go out of this and open up paint. And we'll paste it, okay? So now we have on her here and his spear. We'll just crop just him out so we don't have to deal with any of this other stuff in the picture. And then we'll save this as on her paint. And we'll close the game. And then again, we'll go over to image J and we'll open up our file. Pick out on her. Assume that on here is about the same height as me, even though I don't have the same joint structure as him. Do something around where it would look like he's standing up straight. Measure. We'll have our measurement window. It says he's about 597 pixels tall. We'll set the scale. He's going to be 72 inches, just like we did before. Now we can measure him again, and it's 72 inches. Then we just take his spear, measure across the spear. Look at 114 inches. So, what is that? Nine and a half feet. Oof, that's a long spear. Um, and also, you know, we can get the proportions of how big his gem is, which is about three and a half inches, how wide his blade is down here at the bottom, that's about 16 inches. Um, you know, the handle, everything else you can measure there. And that is how you can basically take a picture to find out the proportions of your cosplay so you can make sure that it's accurate uh, with height, depth, everything like that. Um, we also have another tutorial of how to extract the models and do the scaling if it's in a particular uh, Unreal engine. Um, so check that one out. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them below. We'd love to get back to you and talk to you. Um, again, this is Terrell from theskin.net. Thanks for watching.